so now that we have understood what is basically a stack heap a value type and a reference type let's try to understand what is boxing and unboxing because the concept of boxing and unboxing falls in line with value types and reference types so what we'll do in this video is that we'll first try to understand the concept of boxing and unboxing we will write a simple sample code which demonstrates boxing and unboxing we will see that how the il code looks like so once once we once we have a sample code which demonstrates boxing and unboxing we'll try to see a sample il code of it and and we'll try to see that how it looks like and finally we'll talk about performance implications which are caused because of boxing and unboxing now here's a simple method we have called as method 1 and it has three lines of code in the first line we are creating a integer data type i and we are setting it to value 1 in the second line we are moving this i value to a object data type now object data type is nothing but it's basically your parent uh, what you call your parent object you know which uh, object type which is been inherited by all your dotnet components so every dotnet object you create right always inherits from the object uh, uh, from the object class so we are moving uh, the i the the integer i value to a object o in the third line what we are doing is that we are going vice versa we are moving the uh, object value to a integer data type we have created a, a integer data type called a j and we are moving the o value to the j data type now boxing means basically when you move a value type to a reference type it is called as a boxing so the second line is basically demonstrating boxing so you can see that over here we are moving the value type to a reference type reference type means it's a object so we are moving i value to a, to the o which is nothing but a object so when you set or when you actually move a value to a reference type when you actually set up a value type to a reference type it is called as boxing the third line of code basically demonstrate unboxing in unboxing we set the reference types to value types so over here we were we are actually moving the o value to a, a a value type which is nothing but you know your integer j so boxing means basically you set a value type to a reference type and unboxing means you set basically a reference type to a value type uh, the best way to remember is you know remember the word vr so you know when you move from value type to reference type it is boxing and when it is from reference type to value type it is unboxing now what we'll do is that you know we'll create a simple sample code which you know because over here it's just a powerpoint presentation so we'll open visual studio we'll we'll create a simple sample code and we'll see that how il code looks like and finally we'll try to understand the implications of uh, boxing and unboxing uh, from the performance aspect now here's a simple sample code we have and in this code what we are doing is we are we have basically created a simple integer and this integer we are moving to the object that means we are doing a boxing and then again we are moving the object to the integer that means we are doing unboxing so what we'll do is that we'll first go and compile this code and uh let me see that you know where the exe is created so let me just take the path where the exe is created and we will open this exe using ildsm to see that how the il code looks like so let me copy this path here and go to your visual studio command prompt and type ildasm and let's click on file open and let's paste the path here and i can see the console application 1.exe and let's open it now we have written the code in static void main so let's expand the node of ildsm and let's go to static void main and let's see the how the how the il code looks like now you can see over here uh there's a word called as box which does which indicates you know your second line of code from your static void main function and there is a word called as unbox you know which indicates you know where you are, where you have moved the object type to a uh, sorry object type to a value type so basically you can see that how the il code you know translates your boxing and unboxing code uh, to a msil msil okay now that we have understood you know uh, how the boxing and unboxing code looks in the il code let's try to see that uh, are there any performance implications you know when we move from value type to reference types you know and from reference type to value types as a good programming practice you know we should always try to avoid boxing and unboxing as far as possible because it leads to performance degradation 
said and done that it is highly impossible to avoid boxing and unboxing for example you know uh, when you move your uh, you know values from your dotnet code to the ui objects like text boxes and combo boxes you know there is there is always boxing happening and in, when you move your values back from the ui objects to your uh, .NET data types like integers and you know doubles and booleans always there is unboxing happening and it is very difficult to avoid this situation because definitely you would like to collect data from the user interface etc so you know it's difficult to avoid boxing and unboxing what you can do is uh, as a good programming practice you should try to minimize wherever possible boxing and unboxing so what we'll do over here is you know we'll try to demonstrate that how uh, basically you know boxing and unboxing leads to performance degradation and uh, you know and what are the implications of uh, you know a boxing and unboxing so here's what we will do for demonstrating you know how uh, basically boxing and unboxing affects our performance I have created a simple function here called as box and in this box function what I'm doing is I'm moving uh, the value type uh, to a reference type so you can see that basically I have created a simple uh, variable with a, a integer variable with the I name and I'm assigning one to three value to it and then I'm pushing that value to the object and I have also created a simple variable assignment which is without boxing so here you can see that you know I have created uh, again the same thing I have created a integer i variable which is assigned 1 to 3 but this time I'm moving this i variable to an integer so this function box basically does boxing and the simple variable assignment you know it, it basically does uh, there is no unboxing and boxing happening here it's it's just that you know the uh, the values are assigned on the stack and new copies are created now what we'll do is you know both of these functions you know we will call in a loop uh, 10,000 times so you can see that over here I have a, a simple loop here uh, I have made I have created a button called as uh, button unbox at box and uh, I'm basically looping I'm calling the box function you know 10,000 times and what I've done is I basically use the stopwatch function which belongs to uh, system.diagnostic uh, in order to measure how much elapsed time uh, will this uh, routine take to or will this execution take and in the same way I'm also calling up the the simple variable assignment function you know which has no boxing in it and in the, and this function also I'm calling 10,000 times and I'm measuring the performance using the stopwatch so let's run this uh, project and let's see what happens and how the performance uh, looks like for uh, for for the boxing function and as well as for the function you know which doesn't have uh, any kind of boxing uh, execution 